Um, fifth year of a charity softball game. That's wild, right? For you? Yeah, you know, it's pretty crazy. It's one of those ideas that we had early in my career, and we were like, uh, you know, I think it could be fun. It could be a good time. And here we are five years later doing it at Minute Maid Park, a major league ballpark, raising, you know, over a million and a half dollars last year and hopefully doing the great things this year. So uh, it's pretty special. My teammates have a good time. It's, it's wild for me to walk in the locker room and walk into an argument between two guys <laughs> about who's going to win. And I'm like, what are you guys arguing about? And it's like, softball game. I'm like, it doesn't even make sense. It's crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, because this is now an event for this city, right? People circle this on their calendar. 30,000 people in Minute Maid last year. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, it's such a good time. we got people coming in from out of town. Mm -hmm. Houston's obviously incredibly supportive of it. Uh, all of our sponsors and everybody who donates money to help these kids is incredible. And I think that almost gets a little bit lost in it is the fact that we're raising a ton of money for kids mm -hmm. all over the country because of how fun the event is and how much fun everybody has. But we really are doing a lot of great things, and so I can't thank our fans enough for everything that they do. Offense versus defense, but I hear an offensive player is going to be on your team. Did you clear that through the rules committee? Uh, well, Andre, I, uh, I did. I did. Okay. I put it through the rules committee. I yeah. talked to the commissioner about it, both being myself, yeah. obviously. That's good. Um, so I ran it across my desk. I signed it, and then I ran it across my own desk again, and I signed it. So Andre is going to play team defense. Perfect. Uh, he's a it's legend. It's nice when things work out that oh, way. Oh, it's huh? great. You yeah. know, it's great. And that's the beauty of having your own game. You get to do whatever <laughs> the heck you want to do. Um, but we're really excited to have Andre. Obviously, with him coming back here and retiring with the Texans this year, uh, I know our fans can't wait to see him out there. Our, our guys are excited to play with him on the softball game, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It started in Wisconsin, this foundation of yours, and now it's in over 25 states. Can you wrap your head around the enormity of what you and your team have created here? It's truly it's so hard to wrap my head around it because, like you said, I mean, it started back when I was in college at mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Uh, and we were just hoping to make a difference in a few schools here and there. And now we're in over 25 states. And mm -hmm. I mean, you see, you get letters from a school in, you know, Maine or Virginia, and, and they're talking about how big of an impact your donation has had on their school. And you're just like, this is, this is wild. And so it's really cool. And I think that's what we're trying to let our fans know and everybody that comes to this event is you're not just helping a few schools here and there. You're helping schools all over the country. And I think that's really cool. I want to go back to November 22nd when you released that Players Tribune article. Mm -hmm. How important was it for you to write that? Is it therapeutic in a way given what had just happened in the last year and a half? Yeah, it really was. You know, I was going through obviously having been away from everything for a couple of months and only really not being able to work out, not being able to train, not being able to be around the guys. Um, you're going through a lot and every single day I had to walk and so all I was doing was thinking the whole time I'm walking. Um, and so being able to write that article and just kind of put my thoughts on paper and really kind of let everybody know what I was thinking at the time. Uh, it was it was really good and, and I'm glad we did it and hopefully it uh, provided a little bit of insight into what my mind was like. With so much passion that you have for this game, was it a surprise for you that the word retirement crept into that vocabulary for the first time? Uh, you know, I think as I look back on it, yeah, you know, I think I was very premature with, with some of those comments myself. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know. But that's what you were going through at that 